Today has the potential to be the best day ever. I'm so excited. So today we're getting up close and personal with elephants at Elephant Jungle Sanctuary and we're on the move so uh, let's go. Level of excitement, about 1,000. We just came up the hill and they're right there. Yeah, you can call me Kevin. It's not my real name but easy for you, okay? <laughs> Time to make the lunch. Okay, elephant did picky. It's looking good. <laughs> Getting tired a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy elephant food. So sadly, Thailand still has working elephants, but at the end of their working life, those elephants cannot go back in the wild because, well, they've lived with humans their entire life. So the purpose of these sanctuary is to save those elephants, bring them here, and take care of them for the rest of their lives. So you're gonna see a little bit different behavior on some of these. Where these elephants are rescued, um, there's a couple that sway back and forth a lot. And there's even one who just takes one step forward and one step back. And this is because it's like a mental health coping mechanism, honestly. Um, the one where it steps forward and back is she was chained up for so long that she could only take one step. That's as much space as she had. So in her mind, she still thinks that's all she can do. And the swaying is just kind of like the ones that were in the circus. It's again the mental health component. It's like a self-soothing mechanism. Um, so there's a couple that do it quite noticeably. Um, but as soon as you start feeding them bananas, sorry, I'm watching that one over there. Then it kind of slows down. <laughs> is it mushy? Yeah. <laughs> so now we have the rice balls, and there's tamarind pellets, of course rice, bananas, bananas, salt, salt. And pumpkin. Yummy. <laughs> so elephant get six sets of teeth throughout their lives, but when they lose their last sets of teeth past their 60s, it no longer grows. So they can't no longer basically crush grass and eat solid food. So this is why here they feed those little mushy ball. It's soft food because those elephants behind us, they no longer have teeth. So the elephants, of course, with all of the eating that they do, they actually poop pretty much every hour, about four to five kilograms of poop every hour. Anyways, um, what they've done, they've been creative and they recycled it and make their own paper out of it now. So let's go check that out. So this is the paper making station. Um, so what they do is they take the poo, they obviously clean it, then they put it in a blender and then it comes out to like a watery mixture. And then this is what they have. So they submerge it in water in the tray and they make sure it's all evenly covered. They take it out and then it dries. And from there, the finished product is just normal paper. How cool is that? So the elephant behind me gets a very, very special treatment every single day here at the sanctuary. First of all, this elephant is completely blind and has an immune system deficiency on top of a skin condition that you can really see um, on her back legs. They don't exactly know why she has that skin condition, but they're thinking that she was actually a working elephant with tourists, probably spending a lot of time in uh, the ocean. So the salt might have done that to, uh, to her skin. So despite all of her conditions, she's 76 years old, still going strong. <laughs> it's funny, uh, Michael was saying like her bone structure, she, she looks like she's old, but she's like, his, her digestion apparently is amazing. Pooh can tell a lot about an animal. And apparently her poo is amazing. <laughs> now, the next part is we give the elephants a mud bath. Guys, <laughs> hey. No water today. Bye. <laughs> and scoop the mud like this, ah, okay? Perfect. And when you walk to elephant, just like rub on the body. Oh, Got that's it. nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>
the stuff. She's just going around putting mud on everyone. Now I got some on my back. <laughs> Tracy's got some on her arm as well. So just like the elephants, we're gonna stay young forever. So if you're coming, be prepared to get dirty. And to be honest, the staff here are so much fun. They're making this like even better. <laughs> Best day ever. Welcome to the high life. Jump right in and show you why I'm side. Right now we're gonna live it up. Don't stop till you get it up. Feel it, work it, move it. This is how we do it. Live it, breathe it, lose it. This is such a crazy experience. Best day. So just when we thought this day couldn't get any better, they're teaching us how to make pad thai. This is the place for me. <laughs> this is just perfect. So this half day also comes with food. We got some fried salad, uh, sweet and sour chicken, and of course, pad thai, which is the only thing that matters. That, that and elephant, of course. It's pretty good pad thai. It's time to say goodbye. You and I should never be apart. Thank you so much. So that was Quan, not Kevin, Quan. He just says Kevin to L all the tourists because it's easier to pronounce, but I had to ask him his real name. <laughs> they currently have 18 elephants and this property is massive for them to roam around. It's actually 40 acres. Yeah, 40. So now we're gonna go back to the hotel. This day is not done. We're gonna address a few things about the elephant and, and yeah, carry on with our day. Okay, so we're actually back at the resort and it's only 11.30, which means it really is just a morning session. It's nothing in the afternoon or anything like that. Um, and we got in a little bit later yesterday and we weren't exactly in the bestest mood. So we didn't show you around, but we're at the Mendrava Resort. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it is beautiful. So let's kind of show you our walk to our room. It's all on a hill, so you have stairs. Yeah, it, it's lovely. What Tracy mean by yesterday, uh, we weren't really in the mood. When uh, when we left the airport, we decided to like save some money, which is a good thing, and take a bus instead of a taxi. No, not a bus, the, a shared mini bus. That's like a, a shuttle, right? And they told us that uh, they were only doing three stops, that it would be the same, blah, blah, blah. We're like, okay, perfect, let's save some money. It took two and a half hours instead of 40 minutes. Terrible experience. So everyone inside. The highly, highly. Very yeah. Nice. By the way, we're in Phuket. In yeah. Phuket. 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 You, you, you tell me. Um, so if you ever come here, um, pay a few extra dollars and use a taxi because those shared shuttle, no good. So this is the restaurant where we had breakfast this morning. There's supposed to be two. One's supposed to be a Thai one, but that one's not open currently. And you can see the ocean from here. Let's give you a better view. Okay, so these kinds of elephant sanctuary here in Thailand are still being critiqued. And I do understand why, because you know, tourists are going there every day, taking photos and like touching the animals and everything. But you need to remember that these elephants were working elephants. Being around human is the only thing they know. Yeah, so there's between like riding and logging basically. Yeah, so like logging stuff. and a bunch of different things. So I think it comes down to how you see the interactions between their caretaker and the elephant. And I have to say the interactions were fully like very, very nice. They fine. they're they're very respectful to the yes. elephants. They they do a little briefing session uh, at yeah. first to tell us how to be respectful with those animals yeah. as well. And they're and, 
just yeah. remember like this place it, it cost about like a uh, hundred and five dollars Canadian for the conversion here yeah. um, per person all that money goes back to feeding the elephant and taking care of them and paying the staff yeah. and everything these elephants are basically receiving unlimited food 24 7 cares including medical attention as well so yeah. it's still it's still a business but like they're really doing an amazing job on about taking care of like those animals yeah. that otherwise would be you know making probably sure put down yeah making sure they have like the right minerals even to what they're eating yeah. in their food and on top of that too they even tell you like if there's warning signs or signs that the elephant is just like okay i've kind of had enough then yeah. that is what it is yeah. like there was one that was super shy like he'd come grab the banana and then just then walk leave away. and they would tell you that just leave yeah. him alone if he wants to come back then he'll come back so like yeah. i said at the beginning very very respectful so i fully stand behind what they they do otherwise we wouldn't promote that kind of uh, yeah. that kind of business um yeah. but yeah so amazing experience i highly recommend it it was it was very fun and especially us and uh, elephants are our favorite so uh, 10 out of 10. yeah <laughs> Okay, so quick room tour while we're here. Um, we're about to head out and go downtown Car Caron, I think. Bathroom, amazing size shower, amazing time bathtub, although I don't think I'm gonna have time to enjoy that. Come out. We have a little safe robe area, king size bed, little day bed area, which is very messy right now. And then we even have a balcony. Okay, let's go. We're hungry. We <laughs> might need pad thai number eight of the trip. A little sketched out to be standing under this right now. Sparking a little bit. Can you guys actually hear like the electricity? Like it's pretty loud. And like Tracy said, it is a little sketchy. So Caron is a resort town located just a little bit south of Phuket, which is the main city on this region of Thailand. This place is a little bit more fancy, less touristy a little bit uh, compared to Phuket. Phuket is really like the, the backpacker kind of paradise. Here the resorts are a little bit nicer, that's my understanding. Um, but right now we're kind of uh, towards the end of the the rainy season and this is why the waves are like this big and it's windy and apparently, still a little gray apparently from april to october is surf season so <laughs> tracy wanted to go for for surf lessons that we've never surfed before and these do not look like beginner waves but if you're advanced this is this is probably surfer paradise <laughs> So I'm like, oh, let's find a spot. I think I found the perfect spot. So it's between the chocolate fudge cake or chocolate fudge something and this banana chocolate roll. And I was like, what one's better? She's like, banana roll. So we got that with a scoop of dark chocolate ice cream. Wow. Wake up, the world is smiling. Got the sun. <laughs> Tracy couldn't find words, so let me try. There's nothing to say. It's delicious. So moist, like the caramel is so good. Mm. I'm not sure how we went from like just eating cake and then outside she's like there's some animals. Now we're feeding piglets. I don't really know what's happening. So we've been walking a few kilometers on the main street and even though like I said it's a very touristy area with shops and restaurants and bars like literally on the street every few blocks like you'll see big like abandoned building which kind of makes the area look a little run down. I have a feeling too especially like Carol this area now not saying this is the case with that one but I think Covid hit hard. And once again quick stop at Starbucks. So 
believe it or not, we are at O'Reilly's, which is an Irish pub in Thailand. Um, but Shang, which means elephant, yeah. is the, the local the, beer. Yeah, the national beer uh, of Thailand. So let's have a sip. It's really good. That's yeah, really good. Very light, very nice. I like it. On a hot summer Thai day like today. It's pretty good. Yeah. Surprisingly, we ordered a pizza and a pad thai, which we're gonna share. Is it really good for an Irish restaurant? It's really good. It's still in Thailand. That's surprisingly good pizza. Found a ride. Give, give, give it to me. Have you ever been to Thailand if you didn't ride one of those little taxi trucks? I don't think so. Okay, so what a day. This morning, amazing experience. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Yeah. 12 out of 10. And it's really interesting to know like the Asia elephants, how they're very different than the African elephants. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. Otherwise, like uh, the afternoon in Koran, I would say, I mean, it is definitely not a must in Thailand. Like, let, let's oh. put it that way. But I mean, the sweet treat. Phuket? Ex except the, the, the sweet store. That, okay, that, was, that was the best cake ever. But otherwise, I mean, like, you know, it's just like little bars, little yeah. shops, like nothing nothing unique about it. Uh, maybe the beach is very wonderful, like when, when the, the it's a nice day or something like that. That's possible. I, but tomorrow, yeah. we're going to go check out Phuket, which is Phuket, Phuket. which is the, the main kind of town uh, around here so we'll see what the nightlife and looks like Fifi and things like Island. that but and Fifi Island and stuff so we're doing some boat tour that could and, change. and things like that. Um, I think Caron would be great if you're looking for a resort on beach that type of thing like just that but where we're a little bit more adventurous trying to yeah. go more local it's good. Yeah, very, but, very we'll like touristy like if you ever been to Niagara Falls that's exactly what it looks like. Not quite. <laughs> kind of. So anyway, <laughs> that's it for us today. Yeah. We're going to see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, for, for Phuket, some, for some boat tours and things like that. Yeah. And, and carry on with the, the Thailand series. So <laughs> see you guys in the next one.